last two months of my life can't be expressed in words. I mean, it's impossible. From the combine leading up to being drafted by the Los Angeles Complexity, CGS and DirecTV has changed my life along with 59 other gamers' lives forever. We were all flown out to Los Angeles, California, and the party began with media training. And as soon as media training was done, the features started rolling in. Features after features after features. It was awesome. It's getting crazy. They keep describing this as a whirlwind. So I'm technically in the eye of the tornado now. It's your boy Swoozy. It's Dead or Alive 4. That's all there is to it. I gotta go practice. The days started going by so quick. It was crazy. It turned into a big blur. But our first few matches were played at EA headquarters. Everybody at DirecTV and CGS wanted to make sure that they could broadcast the games live. So apparently it worked. So we got our first real day off. And me and Master hiked out to John's place, the guy that provided the Timberlands in the other video blog. He had a barbecue to celebrate the draft and CGS. I don't want my bun to look like a Donde. <laughs> So I had to leave the barbecue a little early because Jason Lake called a mandatory meeting and apparently 70% of my team ran out and got the iPhone that day. Honestly, I'm kind of under the impression that the meeting was held as a, a let's rub the iPhone in Swoozie's face session. What is that? You know, there's, a, there's an iPhone trend that's just like sweeping through the CGS. And I just want to say on camera, Who started it? on Swoozie's vlog, uh -huh. honestly, more people might, might watch than the actual show itself. <laughs> that's how much everyone loves you. I started this trend. Okay? It is, look at that. I went out at 9 p.m. last night and I bought my iPhone. And people are looking at me now because this is really damn it's, that's, that's what it's about. I went out and I got it, and I got ticketed for jaywalking <laughs> last night. So before I could even digest the whole iPhone thing, we get back to the player village, and there's been some recent developments. There's a bunch of college girls that just moved in here. Dave has a girlfriend. Nope, you don't have a girl. Dave doesn't have a girlfriend. What do you think about this whole situation, Jared? I don't know, man. I think Dave has a lot of problems on his hands right now. <laughs> All right, let's add these guys. All right, you guys are with Otis, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. What is Otis? It's an art school. An art school, like in LA, I'm guessing? Yeah. All right, so yeah, apparently <laughs> Otis is an art school that stopped by, and that's how they roll. My GM text messaged me. He was like, Swoos, you've had a busier schedule than any gamer out here. Tonight is yours. Go out and get some fresh air. So I took his advice. We're here with um, a person you guys might know pretty well. <laughs> Mr. Fatality, we're um, we're on our way to some kind of house party. That's what they've told you it was, right? A house party. And we have Skittles back here too. Uh, right now, Fatality's giving us a preview of Burnout Five. There's fashionably late, and then there's what we're doing right now. I'm I'm fearful for my life. Like that's why I turned this camera on because this might be my last video vlog. So we finally make it to the party. We met up with Master there. There were a, a lot of people. I've never seen this many people at one single party. It was pretty fun, not gonna lie, it's pretty fun. But the real fun was to come later at the most unexpected place, the drive through Hold on. Oh, you're still watching me. Charge it. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Charge! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh there was a lot of practicing going on from that night on, so the cameras pretty much stayed off for the most part and didn't turn back on until we had our 4th of July party out by the pool. So after playing out half the season at EA, it was finally time for all of us to experience the main stage. We're talking lights, we're talking cameras, everyone's expectations were high and CGS did not disappoint. So the first thing I noticed when we all got to the set was that nobody could stop smiling. Everybody was smiling. I mean, we all got there and we saw it and the attention to detail and the scope. DirecTV just outdid themselves on so many different levels. As gamers, this was our dream right in front of us. Tell the 
people at home where you're at? I am at a Timbaland party. Can anybody get into this party? No. <laughs> it's invite only? Invite only. So now I'm at the party with the Susanator. So not, not, not just with the Susanator, we have Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Oh, he didn't want to be in it, but he's in it now. Uh, my name is Manny Rodriguez. I'm kind of a big deal. I was just <laughs> on TV. You uh, are a big deal, and I like it. <laughs> so I just came here, and I'm with all these celebrities, and I'm big deal here too. The Timberland party was kind of hot. I mean, you had good people, you had good food. They gave us a sneak peek at the winter line for their new shoes coming out. It was kind of hot. Live DJ, it's not bad at all. Downtown Hollywood, Los Angeles. We couldn't stick around the Timberland party too long because we had another busy day the next morning. For those that don't know, DJ Weed has an internet TV show called Epileptic Gaming and he said he'd been getting a lot of emails requesting two particular dudes to come out to the show. So he had me and Master come out. It was so awesome. We had some call-ins, we had some email questions, we had some chat room questions. It was interactive, it was really, really fun. He learned how to block. So now we're doing big things in here. Epileptic gaming you know, going on. Done. Master and Swoos. Yeah. See, see how black I am on this camera? Yeah, you look pretty black. <laughs> <laughs> Right after Epileptic Gaming, we got the biggest surprise of the entire trip. CGS flew out Itagaki, the creator of DOA. We got to meet, greet, have dinner with him, and then on top of all that, we got to sit down and play him. And before you knew it, it was playoffs. Last day six weeks coming to an end, it all happened in the blink of an eye. I'm talking by that time all of us were addicted to Mountain Dew. Carolina, Chicago is what it came down to. Chicago ended up taking it. Anybody that was there, anybody that experienced it, whether you're an audience member, a grip, a cameraman, player, commentator, if they can make poker work, you know this is going to work. I mean, this is just the beginning. Always got to remember that it wouldn't be anything without the gamers. It wouldn't, and I say that when people say, you know, like when you're commentating, blah blah blah. You know what? My commentating doesn't matter if these guys aren't giving a good show. And so when it comes down to it, yeah. at the end of the day, if it, if there's no gamers and there's no skills, then you know what? There's no gaming. Period. So.